D-Labs Tech Tips. Everybody, on the bench today, I have a 12-inch speaker out of a console radio. Now, this speaker is different than your normal speakers. It does not have a permanent magnet. It actually has an electromagnet. So there is a coil of wire that is in series with the power supply of your console radio. In this video, I'll show you how to test that speaker all by itself. And I'll also show you a way that you can determine if it's malfunctioning in your old tube radio. It's going to be good stuff. Here we go. So first off, let me show you the configuration of this speaker. Okay, so that way you know what you're testing. So here it is. This is a Hammond speaker. It's an AO21055-2. Beautiful 12-inch speaker. But you'll notice that the magnet assembly here looks different. In there is a coil of wire, all right? And that coil of wire goes to the high voltage supply in the console radio. So the high voltage comes in, goes through that coil, which acts as a choke and also energizes the electromagnet in the speaker. Then there is another pair of leads and that goes to the 8 ohm coil of the driver okay so you have to have a magnet for that paper cone to deflect normally but you can still get sound out of the speaker even if that coil is open so what I'm gonna do is bench check this speaker initially I'm gonna just apply audio to the voice coil then we'll apply high voltage pulling current through the electromagnet of the speaker and you're gonna hear an abrupt increase in volume so here's the test setup on the bench. We're going to use a Sound Labs synthesizer as an audio source. Going into this Dayton DA30 amplifier, which is driving the voice coil of the Hammond speaker. Over here, I have a Heathkit high voltage power supply. We're going to apply approximately 150 volts DC to that coil through a 10K resistor. So this 10K resistor is in series with the coil on the back of the speaker which simulates the current that the radio itself would be drawing through the choke on the back of the speaker. Alright, test time. Alright, so here we go with the test. I'm going to apply the audio from the synthesizer through the amp direct to the voice coil. No high voltage at this point. Why did I pick a synthesizer? Well, I thought it would be a little bit fun while I demonstrate this. Alright, so here we go. Remember, no high voltage applied to that coil on the back of the speaker yet. All right, now we'll turn on the high voltage. cool test of the 12 inch speaker showing excitation applied and not applied. So if your bench check fails, this is the actual electromagnet coil being measured. Got about 684 ohms 
for the Hammond speaker and this one obviously has an 8 ohm voice coil and that's what you would measure on the other pair of wires. If you decide to do the high voltage applied test, always make sure to have a current limiting resistor in series or you can pop that coil while you're trying to test it. So it's snowing outside guys, but those tube filaments always keep D-Lab at a constant temperature. Hope you enjoyed the tech tips. We'll see you again.